They hate the First Amendment just as much as they hate the Second Amendment, I think. Uh, that, by the way, would also be the case with Kamala Harris, who, of course, you know, went after that journalist who had uh, uh, conducted some uh, undercover videos uh, regarding Planned Parenthood, uh, and uh, Kamala Harris didn't like that. She doesn't like the fact that you and I are legal law-abiding gun owners as well, uh, as was evident last night as she uh, took the stage there for that CNN town hall. Here's a longer uh, listen to what Senator Harris had to say about your rights and my rights. We have got to have smart gun safety laws in this country, and we've got to stop buying this false choice. You can be in favor of the Second Amendment and also understand that there is no reason in a civil society that we have assault weapons around communities that can kill babies and police officers. Like universal background checks. It makes perfect sense that you might want to know before someone can buy a weapon that can kill another human being. You might want to know, have they been convicted of a felony where they committed violence? That's just reasonable. You might want to know before they can buy that gun if a court has found them to be a danger to themselves or others. You just might want to know. That's reasonable. It is, it, it, this, there is no reason why we cannot have reasonable gun safety laws in this country. And guess what, guys? Here's the reality of it also. We're not waiting for a good idea. We have the good ideas. An assault weapons ban, background checks. I don't, know about you. I don't, I don't think those are really good ideas I, 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 for many, many reasons. But let, let's talk about background checks since uh, Senator Harris wanted to talk a lot about background checks. So it's interesting. There was a study that came out just a few months ago. This was a study that was done by both the Bloomberg School of Public Health at Johns Hopkins University, uh, as well as the University of California Davis Violence Prevention Research Program that's actually funded by the state of California. And they looked at California's universal background check law, the very type of law that Senator Harris was touting on stage last night, saying this was reasonable. Who could be opposed to this? Shouldn't we have to you know, make sure people aren't a felon before they... Uh, purchase a gun. And here's what this study found about California's universal background check law. It had no impact on the number of fire-related homicides in the state of California. It had no impact on the number of fire-related suicides in the state of California. And about one in four Californians who the uh, uh, researchers spoke with said that they did not go through a background check when they purchased their last firearm. In other words, even in a state where you have gun registration on the books, the black market still exists. This does nothing to tap the illicit market in firearms because this law is aimed squarely at those legal law-abiding gun owners. By the way, it's not just this one study. It's not just California. Garen Winnemute, who's at the University of California, Davis, he had another study last year that looked at background check laws in Washington State, in Colorado, and in Delaware all quote-unquote universal background check states. Now, he wasn't actually looking at what happened in terms of gun-related fatalities. He was simply looking in those states to see whether or not background checks went up after the laws were put on the books. Guess what happened? They did not. They did not go up. Not in Washington State, not in Colorado. They did go up a little bit in Delaware. But uh, if you actually look at the violent crime rate for the time in question, Delaware had the highest increase in homicide of the three states that were studied. The one state where background checks actually went up had the biggest increase in homicides. So what is this about? Why are we hearing so much talk about a bill that gun control advocates know doesn't work? Why are they talking about it? Because it's popular. It polls well. Listen to uh, how Senator Harris described this, right? It's just so common sense. It's so reasonable. Notice she did not say it's effective. Notice that she did not say this works, just that it, it's reasonable. It polls well. And the disarmament candidates engaged in the disarmament primary right now, they are far more interested in a PR victory than a public safety benefit with the policies that they're pushing.